हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ऑल इज वेल वेलकम टू अवर साइंस क्लास हियर दिस इज थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर ट्वेल्व रिप्रोडक्शन इन प्लांट्स इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट फर्टिलाइजेशन प्रोसेस द प्रोसेस हेल्प्स इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फ्रूट्स एंड सीड्स आफ्टर द फर्टिलाइजेशन इज सक्सेसफुली अकम्प्लिश्ड द ओवरी डेवलप्स इन टू अ फ्रूट एंड द ओव्यूल डेवलप्स इन टू सीड्स एंड ओव्यूल इज द पार्ट ऑफ फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम दैट विल डेवलप इन टू सीड्स आफ्टर फर्टिलाइजेशन सो ओव्यूल इज नथिंग बट अ स्ट्रक्चर कंटेनिंग द एम्ब्रियो इन साइड इट दैट इज द बेबी प्लांट a baby plant which is yet to develop means it needs a post protection that is why we have the seed a seed remains safe and guarded by a seed coat which protects the inner delicate parts and the embryo during unfavorable conditions so when seeds are sown in the soil and when they achieve favorable conditions they germinate to give us a new plantlet now all that's require is a proper rooting of the seed in the soil this will result in germination and thus growing of a new plant but now the question arises how are these seeds fixed in the soil do they always get rooted near the parent plant or sometimes at the distant places also seeds can be dispersed nearby or distant places as well this is because seeds are dispersed at distant places by various agents the process is known as dispersion of seeds who are these agents seeds are transferred to various places by factors such as the wind or water explosion and animals these agents makes the process of dispersal of seeds easier now discuss about abiotic agents first the first agent of dispersal of seed is wind some plants like uh, dandelions and uh, they have parachute like or hair like structures attached and they are so light in weight that they get easily carried away by the wind thus even the seeds get carried to the distant places the next agent is water fruits which float such as those of lotus and coconut palm are carried by water you won't believe coconuts can travel thousands of kilometers across seas and oceans the next type of dispersal is dispersal by explosion in some cases fruits or pods containing seeds burst open on their own the pods dry and split open suddenly with a considerable force which throws the seed at a distance the examples are broom plant and pea plant last and the least are the uh, sorry are the biotic agents biotic means living organisms so are animals also responsible for dispersal of seeds yes they are tell me one thing what do we do when the seeds after eating juicy fruit we generally throw these away that is how seeds from a agent from a plant growing in one area reach a completely different area plants are even benefited with the seed dispersal by animals to understand this let's take the ex simple example of birds birds also relish on ju juicy fruits uh, that has seeds within in many cases seeds of the plants are too tough to germinate if planted directly to the soil now if such a fruit is uh, consumed by a bird then the seeds does not get digested in the bird's body and is thrown away directly however the hard seed cover protects uh, softens a bit due to the chemical activity present into the bird's stomach so as the seed passes through the bird's gut it gets soft and uh, when it drops in the ground and get rooted it becomes easy for the seed to germinate this is how animals can help in far and wide dispersal of seeds some seeds that get dispersed by this type are blackberry cherry and apple and so many pulpy fruits are fruits that are dispersed by animals now tell me why do we need dispersal of seeds i mean uh, what will happen if the seed from parent plant get planted near it 
being near the parent plant this will affect on the growth and development of both the plants why so the two will start competing for sunlight and water that is the reason why seed is extremely useful for plants okay students this was the last presentation of this chapter go well through these videos along with your textbook and read each chapter twice or thrice for better understanding goodbye take care